Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're going to be masking photos on top of typography using Affinity Photo. Okay, so now you can see we have a blank canvas and to start we're just gonna we're gonna pull in our photo as a reference Okay, so I have a photo down here in my downloads. I'm just gonna drag it in. It's really really big So I'm just gonna zoom out and kind of just bring this into some si sort of like normal size Okay, and I'm gonna use my zoom tool to just kind of get in nice and tight for us to see. Next thing I'm gonna do is just simply go to my text tool, which is right over here, and when you click on it, you can see there's frame text, artistic text. It actually doesn't matter which one you do for this method. I'm just gonna grab artistic text, and I'm gonna drag some text out. I'm just gonna put it right there, and I'm just gonna type the word hiking. Nice and big, all caps, really bold, really adventurous, really fun, okay? There are some ways you could do this, you could create this into like a vector or turn it into outlines basically and then manipulate it you know per individual letter that could be really interesting and fun um, but then you've destroyed the type and you can't go back so if like you wanted to change it from hiking to hikers you could never then go back and try to fix what you had done. And so I want to figure out a better way. In Affinity Photo, there's two different ways to do this. One is called a layer mask, and the other is called a clipping mask. They're very similar, they're very subtle, and they're very sneaky in how you do them. So I just want to point these out, okay? Um, so we, again, we have our photo and we have our text, okay? First thing that's interesting or important to note is that in the layers panel in Affinity Photo, there's vertical and there is horizontal lines when dragging layers around. What I mean is, if we're looking at the screen, if you drag this text layer, and I just want it to be in the layer underneath, all of a sudden a, a horizontal line shows up, okay? And if I have it all the way out to the left like this, that's just changing the position of the layers. But if I indent, that's gonna be something completely different. And if I wanna do a layer mask, what I'm gonna do is just grab the layer that I actually want to be the mask, okay? I'm gonna apply the mask to the photo. Remember that, apply the mask to the photo. If you had a rectangle out here, you would apply that rectangle as the shape or your mask to the photo. I'm gonna do the same thing with the text right now. I'm literally just gonna drag, but instead of going horizontal lines, I'm gonna drag right here in between the, the thumbnail and the name of the layer. I'm gonna get a vertical bar, and you get a preview before you even let go. I'm gonna let go, and now I have a layer mask. What's great about a layer mask is that I can come in and choose the photo, or excuse me, I can choose the typography, and I can move the typography around within the photo, and it's, it's gonna just stop it within, like, within that layer, okay? So that's really, really nice. The next way that I could have done that is, I'm gonna go back out. Instead of doing a layer mask, I could do a clipping mask. Clipping mask is different. It's not vertical line, it's horizontal line. I'm gonna drag the photo, and I'm gonna clip it onto the typography. So you can see horizontal line, I drop it. The difference is that now when I just twirl my arrow open, I can grab the photo and move the photo around inside of the text. They're really, really similar. My suggestion is that if you want to mask typography or a photo on top of some typography, that you would use the clipping mask method, okay? The reason is that later on, you can always grab your typography and move it around, but if you don't want like the photo, or you want to just like rearrange the photo, or maybe, like we were talking about earlier, you just want to have certain photos kind of masked into certain areas, you could do that, okay? Inside of your clipping mask, your layer mask, you can place adjustment layers, you can do all of that stuff, and just embed layers inside of layers. So, lots of fun, really, really simple method of doing a really fun and interesting technique. Well, that's it. That's how simple it is to mask some typography onto some images using Affinity Photo. Thanks so much for watching this quick video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos on design and development and creativity and Affinity Photo tutorials just like this one, so I hope you'll stick around. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. I hope you're making amazing things. I hope you're designing amazing things. I'll talk to you guys soon.